It's your girl, Pop Culture Goddess. And word on the curb is, <laughs> Jonathan is trying to save his career. So Jonathan Major dumped his girlfriend to save his career. He wants no parts of her. He wants no contact with her. He is done with her. Pooch lips. Mm -hmm. So well, let's get into this. Mm -hmm, child. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, curb is Jonathan has kicked his girlfriend to the curb. Child, mm, mm, mm. Jonathan Major's accuser granted temporary protection order. The woman who was the alleged victim of an assault by Jonathan Majors has been granted a temporary full order of protection, according to the Los Angeles Times. A partial order was previously in place that allowed majors and the woman to stay in contact with each other, especially since they I think they might be, they were living together. Hmm. The new order bars contact altogether, at least through the next court date, which is May 8th. Now, the order came per the request and with the consent of defense counsel. A spokesperson for the Manhattan District Attorney Office told the Times in a statement, this is standard in cases such as this, and we consented because Mr. Majors wants nothing to do with the woman who allegedly assaulted him. Hmm. Majors Camp has animately denied any abuse and has attempted to discredit the alleged victim's story. How are you discrediting what? But didn't y'all, weren't y'all the ones who put out the text messages and wasn't Jonathan the one that called the Popo and had the Popo show up and was right there with his girlfriend when the popo showed up and he was able to give his side of the story to the popo and she gave her side and he was still taken into custody because of what the cops saw on the girlfriend's um body okay mm, okay mm, all right now oh <sighs> Mm -mm. So the lawyer first released text messages between Majors and the woman that seemingly only served to complicate the situation, at least as far as his public reputation went. Later, the lawyer submitted as evidence photos of the woman at a nightclub supposedly uninjured after the assault was alleged to occur. She also inserted that the driver who reportedly witnessed the assault would testify on Major's behalf. Hmm. Well, will the police that arrested you, that saw the injuries, will they be testifying too? <sighs> the lawyer alleged in the court filing that the woman had in fact attacked Majors after which she was after which she was clubbing, got drunk, and sent Major angry tech messages accusing him of infidelity sent a suicide note to Mr. Majors, took a bunch of sleeping pills, and then 11 hours later was found alone in a locked bedroom unconscious on the floor of a closet with a cut behind her ear and a broken finger. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold the hell! Wait, we gonna wait. Yeah, I'm. Mm -hmm, we got to grab some popcorn on this one right here because what did we just? Ooh, <laughs> shoot! Let's go back and read this again. This is what the attorney is claiming, but the text message that released don't match this story 
And why is this storyline just coming out? That the woman had in fact attacked Jonathan Majors after which she went clubbing, got drunk and sent Mr. Majors angry text messages accusing him of infidelity, sent a, a whatchamacallit note to Mr. Majors. If he, if, look, look, if she really was if she really sent this note, wouldn't they have gotten her in like a 5150 and, and they would have kept her for observation a lot longer than that? You know, seeing that this person is having a mental break. But they didn't. She took a bunch of pills. Why wasn't that mentioned to the police when the cops were called? And then 11 hours later, 11 hours later, was found alone in a locked bedroom, unconscious on the floor of a closet with a cut behind her ear and broken finger. So now we're changing the story up. Now the story is changing up completely. These are his, and this is the, the concocted events that they are coming up with. Either which way does not sound good for either party. Sending a, uh, a on a live letter, taking pills. Why wasn't the call for the police included with a call for an ambulance? Y'all see what I'm saying with this? Why wasn't an ambulance called? If she took these pills and she was unconscious and found with a cut behind her ear and a broken finger, how the finger bit broken? How she got itself? And why would you let a person who you knew was having unalive thoughts and sent you an unalive note be alone by themselves and not call proper authorities and the ambulance? You see how this is not adding up and this is not coming. Like, like who does that? If you care about somebody, you, I mean, and they're displaying this type of behavior, erratic behavior, you would immediately call the police. You would immediately call an ambulance or not. Matter of fact, you wouldn't even call that police. You would call an ambulance because you would want that person to go to the hospital to get evaluated, get their stomach pumped, looked at. Why? Where did that cut come from? Where did that broken finger happen? Get the broken finger set. Like, what? Now this is sounding like way more injuries to her than what was said by the police and initially released. So she had a cut behind her ear and a broken finger. This is what the lawyer is releasing. But then your, the lawyer is saying, releasing photos or video of her at the club partying. So which one is it? Was this woman uh, trying to unalive herself, took pills and this, that, and the other, and was with a broken finger, cut behind her ear, all of this stuff, but was out partying? And this was right after the assault, allegedly, that she assaulted him? Now, if I don't... <laughs> Child, this story is just so funky. I see why people are banding ship on this whole situation with, with Jonathan Major, because, honey, child, this story is not adding up. Nevertheless, <laughs> multiple other women alleged to have been abused by Major have come forward and are cooperating with the Manhattan District Attorney Office. In response, the lawyer gave a statement to the Times saying this story is baseless and without any foundation. You can't say the story is baseless and without any foundation because these women are coming forward. So if multiple women are coming forward and are all saying the same thing, there is some meat on the bones and there is some merit to the situation until proven otherwise. And you can't say the story is baseless when you haven't even heard what these women have to say. You don't even know what kind of evidence they can provide. Jonathan is innocent and has not abused anyone 
Mr. Major is currently considering his legal options. He need to consider new legal team because the current team is going to get his ass buried. This is not looking good because Jonathan Major is facing assault charges, harassment charges, you know, everything. This is not looking good for this dude at all. Okay? This is looking horrible. He needs a new legal team because the stories is not adding up. It's just making every time the lawyer releases information, it makes it worse because nothing is adding up. The story is not clicking. You're accusing this woman of partying. Oh my child. You trying to tell me you found this woman passed out and taking and taking pills and stuff, and you didn't call an ambulance for this woman? So you're trying to now change the story from now you're trying to change the narrative of what she put out. Those the lawyer, the original text messages that the lawyer put out saying that you basically it looked like you allegedly choked the crap out of this woman until she passed out. So now instead of it being a choke out, you are, they're trying to spin this narrative that it was pills that did it instead. And then y'all don't know how the finger got broken and y'all don't know how the cut appeared. But but what the statements and everything that was taken when the police showed up is a totally different story. Jonathan is screwed. OK, y'all, he is going to lose everything. The whole entire house of cards is coming down. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know what? Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about this situation right here. I love to hear y'all comments about what I said. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Please let me know. And on that note, I am out. Mm -hmm. Child, <laughs> this right here is a whole solid mess, y'all.